Our Across the Aisle segment tonight, there is a strange new push to impeach President Trump, and members of the Congressional Black Caucus are leading that charge. The leaders of the Congressional Black Caucus say that President Trump, quote, brought the high office of President of the United States in contempt, ridicule, disgrace, and disrepute, and, quote, has sown discord among the people of the United States. Well, listen, I'm all for impeaching a president if there is a sufficient case, but where's their proof? See, this is the problem here. There is no proof, and even the Congressional Black Caucus themselves say that Trump has committed no crime. This is why they want to impeach him. The Congressional Black Caucus says, for instance, that President Trump's comments about Colin Kaepernick kneeling during the national anthem make impeachment justifiable. Seriously? Meanwhile, under President Trump, black unemployment is at an all-time low, so is it time for the black community to start questioning whether the Congressional Black Caucus has their best interest at heart? With me now, women's rights activist, Bren Herrera. Bren, good to see you. Hey, Liz, happy Friday. Thanks for having me again. Of course, it's great to see you. All right, Bren, let me ask you. So a member of the Congressional Black Caucus, Congressman Al Green, he has brought to the floor of the House articles of impeachment. Uh, he wanted to vote to bring them to debate. Um, he actually, his, in his articles of impeachment, there are no allegations that President Trump has committed a crime, any high crime or misdemeanors, which as we know from our constitution is the standard for impeachment here. Um, why on earth would the Congressional Black Caucus think that there is a case for impeachment against Trump if there's been no crime committed? Well, to be clear, first of all, the order, uh, the uh, impeachment proceedings that they have been pushing for is to bring a debate about on the House floor. It's not um, moving forward with the impeachment proceedings. You have to actually start the debate first. So that's right, right. No, no, for. I so mentioned that. Clear. This is just to bring let's it to the debate first. floor. Right. Right. So the articles of impeachment are to uh, squash what President Trump has been touting for over a year now, since before he came in, into office. You and I talked about this every single time I'm on here with you. We talk about the incendiary comments that President Trump makes, and it's completely inappropriate to continue allowing this kind of behavior. So impeachment, in essence, what it does is slap his hand and say, look, you know what, this is intolerable. Enough is enough. How long before President Trump stops touting the black uh, vote and saying that unemployment is due to him. He doesn't want to give President Barack Obama credit because really it started back in 2010. This wait a second, wait a second though, wait a so, second though. If this no, is, I've, if I've this got, is to I've give got, him I've got facts here for you. Oh, and I, I want to hear them. I want to get to the got, black got, employment, unemployment numbers in just a okay. second, but I, I do want to stick on sure. this impeachment topic for just a second here. If the point of impeachment proceedings or debate is to give President Trump a slap on the wrist to say that this is inappropriate, isn't that unconstitutional? Doesn't it say in our Constitution that why impeachment that, should be that, used, why is that un used only for high crimes why is and misdemeanors? Did President Trump commit a crime? Did President, did, you know, the jury's still out. I told you this last time, the jury is still out. We've got a Russia investigation going on. We've got a slew of things that are being investigated right now that the president but, is being But yes or no, for. did so he commit a crime? The impeachment, the, did he commit a the, crime that we know the of? Impeachment, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not on White House counsel. I'm not an attorney, so I don't know what's going on in Mueller's office and what's happening with the uh, standings on the Russian investigation. That, that so doesn't matter. It's a simple on, yes or no I'm question. Not, Has President here, no, Trump been no, convicted I'm not, of a crime? I'm not, I'm, no, he's not been convicted of a crime, but you don't need to be convicted of a crime to bring impeachment proceedings about and to start the debate on the floor, which is exactly what the CBC is doing. And I think they are completely fully within their, their constitutional right as lawmakers to bring forth the conversation to talk about enough is enough with Donald Trump and the... But it, isn't that what we have elections for? Like, li listen, I respect your views. I respect the fact that you don't like Donald Trump, that you're offended by his comment. You have a right to believe that. No, it's, no, but no. isn't Liz, that what we have elections you, you, for, to choose who base, we want in office and who we and don't want base, in office? You and, and folks on the right side of the aisle are constantly taking credit for things that Barack Obama did that uh, Trump has absolutely nothing to do with. And you know this. So I don't understand what it is about you and, again, the GOP that has such an issue with uh, the black contingency, the black vote, the Hispanic vote. I don't know what it no, is. No, listen, you're, 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 are, a, you're, a very, you're a very reasonable lady. Please tell me. And, I, and you're very reasonable. We don't agree on many political <laughs> issues, but you are extremely reasonable. Yeah. Please tell me you think it's ridiculous that the black congressional, the congressional black caucus no, thinks that. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to tell you that it's ridiculous. No, no, no wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hear what I have to say. You will think this is ridiculous. I promise. <laughs> they think, they are positing that President Trump's comments on Colin Kaepernick and the national anthem are worthy of impeaching the president. You must, you have to think that's ridiculous.
No, I, the reason I don't is because you can't take that in one. It's not a vacuum, right, Liz? And you know this. I think that you're a pretty bright lady. You wouldn't be where you are <laughs> if you weren't. However, President Trump continuously and uh, habitually takes uh, the black person in this country and ostracizes us, you know, to use colloquial terms, throws us under the bus, categorizes us as uh, rapists or murderers or criminals, all these words, all these incendiary words that he uses that is just complete, all he's doing is completely continuing to divide this country and not being inclusive and not being uh, a unifier, if you will, which is his role right, right, right uh, down the street behind me. So I mean, I, 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 I disagree. Don't I don't always agree with everything reasonable. President Trump says. You know this. You've watched my show. I'll criticize him when I don't think that that's true. But I, I don't agree but with Liz, what you're for, saying. Liz, for him, for, he, no, you're mischaracterizing what he here. said about about people I'm, I'm, of color, I'm about not, people I'm of color, and you know just, that. No. You know that you're mischaracterizing I'm it. Not, and I'm, it's, I'm it's not mischaracterizing. It's, I'm not mischaracterizing. It's President Trump who's offered a very reasonable compromise on DACA and on Dreamers, and it is true that under President Obama. The unemployment rate Liz, for black Americans was lowered. The, that is true, and there is credit the due to President Liz, Obama I, I have, for that. If you don't mind, but in the past let year, let me finish my point. Let, let me finish my point. In the past you, year, it's gone to the lowest a, rate in 45 years. If I can give credit to President Obama thanks, for some Obama. of that, let's, why let's can't go, you give some credit go, to President Trump? Let's go back to the CBC tweet because they have statistics and they have facts. You want to talk about facts? Uh, the black unemployment rate fell from 16.5% to 7.8% between June 2011 and January 2017. Those were the bulk of Obama's presidency. So why can't Trump ever give Obama credit for the things that he's accomplished that he's now benefiting from? Because all the bad things that he's talking about, he's acquired. He's also acquired all of the good things that Obama did while he was in office for eight years. Why can't your president, the president that leads this country, just give due credit where it's due? He started this whole divisive conversation. He's the president of every American, the not just me, but I, I, I actually with, agree with you. There is yeah, some credit I, I due to President America. Obama. No, listen to what I'm saying. There is some credit due no, to President Obama, but I'm asking oh, you, oh, I'm Trump asking you to hold office, yourself Trump to the same standard. If year. you want President Trump no. to acknowledge that President Obama uh, was partially responsible for this, why can't you acknowledge it in the past year? No, it's gotten even better under President Trump. It's, it's, it's four to one, Liz. It's four to one. I don't think that that's, there's anything equal about that. It's four Okay, we're years running out of time. Obama administration that... <laughs> we're running out of time. We can debate this Bren, all day. always yeah. good to talk to you. Thanks for being here.